Hi, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. A few weeks ago, I did an episode where I compared these two um, twins, two British doctors undergoing a month-long experiment. One brother was eating pretty similar to how I do. It looked pretty vegan. It was a high-carb, high-sugar diet, eating lots of plant material, lots of fruits and veggies, and other things I don't eat too much of, like crackers and pasta and bread, stuff like that. He used to have no meat, no dairy, eating just high-carb. Well, his twin brother was eating the opposite. He was eating no carb no plants, wasn't allowed any. Instead, he got to eat all the meat and all the dairy and all the cheese he could stuff. And they compared themselves over a month's time. In the episode I showed you recently, those two um, did a cycling challenge. And the high-carb brother, the one that eats like me, kicked a butt over the low-carb, high-fat brother who basically bonked. He couldn't get his butt pedaling fast enough to get up the hill because he had no carb energy, no glycogen. So yeah, that makes a heck of a lot of sense, right? All the carbs you eat turns into glycogen in your body, and your body can call upon those glycogen stores when needed for hardcore physical activities. How about hardcore cognitive activities? Is that any different of an energy requirement than what you need for physical activities? Well, to put this to the test, the twins separately went to work for the day as stock day traders. You know, very complicated mental activity. And this is quite interesting. Let's take a look. I'm on my high fat diet in New York. Watching closely in the background is Professor Robin Kanarek. She studies the effects of diet on cognition, and she thinks I might be in for a hard time. Don't know what any of this means. This is an extraordinarily difficult task because there's many different aspects of cognition that have to be involved. He has to first pay attention. Then he has to remember what he's done. So what I can't remember is how many I bought and how many I sold. And then he has to make decisions, what we call executive processing. He has to decide whether to buy or sell. So he's got multiple things that are going on at the same time. Oh no, I bought loads of them. See, now I've got negative money. So that's the high fat brother there, the one that's eating zero plant food, zero carbohydrates. And just look at him. He's, he looks super confused and uh, just the whole time he's not sure what he's doing. He goes, oh my God, I just bought a whole bunch of them. It sounds like he wanted to maybe sell or something like that. And as the researcher said, this brother's um, diet is causing him to have all sorts of trouble. He can't remember things and he can't make decisions because he can't remember if he bought stocks or sold stocks. Things are looking pretty bad. My problem is that being on a high fat diet could limit the fuel for my brain. I'm really stuck on this now. Glucose is the primary fuel of the brain and the best fuel for the brain since he's been on a low carbohydrate diet, almost eating no carbohydrates, his stores of glucose in the body are going to be very low. Um, and therefore, I think as time goes on, he may be having more difficulty with the, the task. There are certain parts of the brain that use carbohydrates, particularly for memory. And if they aren't getting enough glucose, then they can uh, not function properly. Right, well, this story's kind of sounding familiar. Just like the cycling challenge, this high fat, low or no carb brother is bonking here, this time bonking mentally. Why? Well, he hasn't had carbs for two weeks, so his glycogen stores are, are low or pretty much depleted. And as the nutritionist said, Glucose is not only the primary source of fuel for the brain, it is the best. Did you catch her say that? And furthermore, she said glucose is used in the brain to make memories. So this guy is not having the best time remembering what he's been doing there, what he's buying and selling, bonking. So let's check out the high carb brother. Is he experiencing the same sort of mental difficulties? Over in London, things are markedly different. Chris, on his high-sugar diet, is more alert, has more energy, and has a significantly better memory. When I'm thinking hard, I can really feel inside my head brain work going on. And this is very brain heavy. It's remembering loads of numbers, remembering loads of initials, and learning a whole new language of bidding and asking. So this screen means everything's going green, so everything's going up. So you just have to hope that continues. 
I think I might be doing okay on my high sugar diet because the brain consumes 60% of the sugars in your blood. For people who are on diets that have complex carbohydrates, uh, whole grains, fruits and vegetables, there's a lot of studies that show, at least on a short-term basis, that having a high-carbohydrate diet will facilitate memory. That's such fun. You can see why these guys get really into it. What a difference some carbs make, huh? This guy, the high carb brother, looks like he's having a good time. He says he's he has mental clarity and energy and in pretty much enjoying life. Nowhere like the miserable expressions and comments that the high fat brother is, is expressing. And as the nutritionist said, why is this? Because a carbohydrate rich diet facilitates making memories. You can remember what you're doing. You're just not wandering around lost like the high fat brothers. Well, that's just, I'm here just comparing behavior and you know how, how each person is uh, reporting how they're feeling and how they seem you know, to us. But really what matters I think too is how well each one did. Who knows, maybe the high fat brother, despite all his um, memory troubles and bonking, was still able to somehow pull himself together and, and make the decisions that needed to be made. Well, let's see the results. It's the end of the test, so who won? I can't remember what I wanted to do, let alone the numbers and letters that I needed to do it. I'm not cut out for this. Maybe Chris will have done better. So Zom made, Zom made essentially $300 profit and I've made over $800 yes. profit. So I absolutely thrashed him. And I tell you what, I could not have done that if I'd been feeling hungry or wanting something I couldn't have, like some sugar. And, and a big carb breakfast is what meant I could do that. So no surprise, right? The brother who has all the happiness in the first place, the mental energy, the clarity, and the ability to remember what the heck he's doing and make informed decisions based on those memories is the brother who won, hands down. Why? Because his brain is receiving the best fuel, sugar, glucose, whereas the low carb brother, the no carb brother, his brain's receiving little, if any, glucose and therefore making horrible decisions because he can't remember if he's bought or sold or what's going on. He's having a horrible day. He's bonking mentally, just as he bonked on the cycling challenge. Why? Because sugar is not only the best fuel for the brain, it's also the best fuel for the body. It's a win-win situation. So I know there's a lot of low carbers out there that think, um, fat or protein or whatever is the best fuel for the body. Carbs are the worst. Well, show me. I mean, this is a win-win for carbohydrates, guys. <laughs> it seems pretty obvious. Um, post your questions and comments down below. Do you enjoy bonking and not having carbohydrate energy to think clearly or perform athletically? Um, let me know and um, subscribe for more from Angie and I here at Happy Healthy Vegan. So as I've been showing you here, guys, remember until next time, keep it carved, baby, keep it carved. Don't you get